on, come on. Come 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 what have you observed? Just let, let's bring this evolution. I mean, this, what have I, what have I this observed? A friend of ours has done a bachelor's degree on, 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 on the subject. <laughs> right. No, 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 no. No, We're dude, talking about someone who knows who's no, no, on the dude, subject. Dude, it's not about what I know. It's about the principle of science, right? If, if they came tomorrow and they said, oh, we were completely wrong about blast. What it was wrong. No, no, let me tell you something. The difference between your ideology and mine is that I don't have a belief system. I'm not believing in anything. I don't no, have no, any look, faith I, in science. We're not talking it's about a that. Proof. That's what it is. Look, science so rests thing. on observation and experimentation. Yes, yes absolutely. Right. So how have we observed this wonderful yes, complexity have, yes, of... Yes, we have. Okay, what we have we observed? We have observed that... We have observed that the species that exist now have very, very similar and shared, like, genetic sequences, okay, which, it, like, links an origin <laughs> to them, right? And when we go back, we can see that those species originate from even more simple things, okay? And when we go back, those species originate from chemical compounds you're and just, energy you're in the just, formation of the You're earth. just putting your faith forward. It's look, not faith. And when I say and observation, also, look, 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 look. I, I just add to that, and also, using computerized <laughs> uh, uh, experiments, we see how through the process of evolution, really fast in computer, you can solve really complicated problems like learning, machine learning is all about this, imagine things in a way that uh, by design today is impossible to do by a process of evolution. What have you observed? So you have one species evolved in another species? No, no, that's not what I said. This is what we are talking about, the length and the breadth of our observation about this belief system yeah. that one species evolved into another species and we no, have a common not, ancestor. That's not what happened. Um, they don't change. They don't turn into a Thank you. Bye. You, you okay. going? Bye. See you later. <laughs> so, when you talk about evolution, yeah. what does it entail? Evolution? Yeah. Evolution is the very, very slow change of an organism over an extremely long period of time. Because and it becomes of, because another organism? No, it doesn't become other organisms. Because of an environment, it adapts to suit that environment. So and, as, and as there is, yeah, of course, obviously. And as there's migration of animals from different places, they change to suit their environment. Like a giraffe has a really long neck because to get to the food of the trees around it, it has to, right? So the only the giraffes with long legs breed, they're the only ones who are successful and have kids, and so that's passed down, right? Okay. Have you learned about Lamarckism? Sorry, say again. Lamarckism. Never heard of it. What's Lamarckism? Right. The idea that giraffes are a long neck. Yeah. Yeah. This has been debunked by scientists. Giraffes haven't got long necks. No. The How's idea it been that the giraffes yeah. originally didn't have long necks. You had. It's been debunked by science. Let me tell you. Chill. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what the story. Right. The story goes like this. You have all the species like you have not two long legs. So so they they're having their meal from the grasses from the ground. The food is becoming scarcer and scarcer, they're up the tree. Now how do you get those leaves from the up the tree? So you need to elongate your neck. So over generations you've got now longer and longer necks. So you're agreeing with me? No, that is That's debunked. What? How? Okay, go on, go on. So why? Did Let me happen? tell you what you don't. Yeah, go on. I haven't read. How are you so, for five minutes and you haven't got your point? I'm just telling you. Well, in a so hurry up! Right. Hurry up! Yeah, please get to the point. You've just um, described giraffes. No, I know no, what no, they no. are. No, no. Can you tell me what your point no, is? No, no. I thought this was your subject, and giraffes aren't my subject. No, no. Your subject on, 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 on evolution and genetics. Okay. So, yeah. Good. You should have known that. It's a very basic. I thing. do know that giraffes have long necks. Can no, you no, get to your point? No, no. But you do know the idea that giraffe. Longer necks of giraffe came as a result of that's what you described. Yes. No, yeah. th this is blatantly Great. debunked. Can you tell me how? Yeah, I'm just telling you that. Okay. So the idea was this. So you have to have longer necks and longer necks to reach I the, know the idea. Please tell me how okay. it's debunked. I'll tell you. So now what happened was this. So these giraffes are getting longer, longer necks. Okay. So when they have babies. Do the giraffes feed their babies by picking the food into the mouth? They don't. So now the baby giraffes, which don't have longer necks, they are all wiped out. All the baby giraffes are wiped out? There's no food. So then how are giraffes... Wait, wait, where do they come wait. From? Your, your so-called model okay. that you need longer necks, but the thing is you haven't passed on this information in your genes yet, right? right. So, so there's still... 
giraffes, baby giraffes with shorter necks and, yeah. and they will die out. You're right. So you would not have any longer neck giraffes. Absolutely. Yeah, we agree. So the genetic material in the longer giraffes survives. <laughs> I'm saying the genetic material wasn't even passed on. It did. The... It did because there were lots of different types of giraffes, some with long necks, some with short necks. And all the short neck ones, as you just said, they all just, died. Just so the only ones left had genetics that made their necks next longer. So that was passed down and that made their genetic makeup different from other animals like horses that don't have long necks. So you see how two species could come from a similar origin. And That's and, evolution, that's my point. Uh, you, your point is you need to go and read about this developing business okay. again, which, which, which obviously you are not familiar with. Yeah, okay. Secondly, so all the other species that died out, right? Only the longer neck animals survived. No, no, in that area only the longer neck animals survived. Because right. in other areas the trees were lower down. That's sure. called adaptation. Right. So if you now flap your arms, are you going to grow wings? No. In, why not? Because my food doesn't come from the air. Wait, but if wait, only wait. the food was in the air, then maybe wait. we would find a way in a billion years. Wait. So the giraffes, yeah. how do they know they need to have longer necks? They don't necks? know. They don't, they don't know. They have so no what idea. happened? So what happens what is, happened? imagine a million giraffes. It's way too big a number, but imagine a million giraffes, right? Yeah. And, and some areas have big trees and some areas have small trees, right? Sure. And in the areas with the big trees, only the animals with long necks, only the giraffes with like, you know how like I'm a, I'm a bit taller than you, this guy's a bit taller than me. Only the tall giraffes were able to get to the food. So the shorter giraffes died and weren't able to have kids, right? So you know how when you have someone who's tall and someone who's tall and they have a baby and the kid's really tall? It's like that. So all the giraffes were trained Trending upwards in neck length because that's where their food no, was. No, no. How is the neck getting longer? Because it's all programmed in your genes. How right? do people get taller when their parents are taller and they have kids? Slow down. You, I thought you had a bachelor's degree. I do. In, and, and, in, I in do. genetics. Are you saying? Are you saying? I, not in genetics. In biomedical science. In biomedical on. science. Yeah. Are you saying you can become 18 foot tall? No. I'm saying that in a million wait, years wait, wait, my wait, ancestors wait, could. Slow down. Slow down. What's stopping you from having children? 18 feet tall. Um, what's stopping me is that those children would have to have children many, no, no. many times. What's stopping? Nothing. Nothing. Let me explain. Nothing? Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you right now. If I had a child and that child had a child and that happened a million times, then about... that child at the end could be 18 okay. foot tall, but not my kid. Have you not, have it's you not... a long, long period of time that this change happens have you, over. Have you not heard about genetics? Uh, can I ask you what you haven't heard about? Do you know what the vagus nerve is? Have you heard of the vagus nerve? Slow down. I'm, I'm, have you heard of the vagus nerve? Wait a second. Yes, I have. What is it? No, you it's tell a nerve me. that goes from the heart to the brain and it controls your heart. Okay. okay. In a giraffe, the vagus nerve goes the entire way down the neck, all the way up to the rib cage, and back around the neck. Okay. It's like really, really long. And giraffes die all the time and have like fine, fine, genetic fine. diseases and like right, problems right. because their neck vagus Did, long is too long. Sorry. Can I ask you something? If it was designed, why wouldn't the vagus neck just go straight down? Why would it do this huge loop? Is it perhaps because the necks were shorter once and, and, and the vagus nerve went straight through, but as it got longer and longer, the vagus nerve had to loop higher and higher and higher. Slow down. What controls the height of your subsequent generation? About 60 is, alleles. Is, is the genes. Yeah, about 60 right. alleles. So genes have already got programs of what your children's going to be. Whether they're going to be 18 foot tall or not. They increment certain things. It's not like... Oh, wait, wait, it's, come it's on. More, okay, it's more, I'll give you the In the complex. genetic programming, yeah. it's already there. If you have children with someone of, of your height, for yeah. example, yeah. you are surely not going to get a child who's 18 feet tall. Okay, so the reason being, yeah. it's been programmed in the genes. The genes have been already programmed. What if they were only one centimeter tall? Listen, that can happen. Listen, listen, no, that can happen, right? What if they're only 10 centimeters tall? Excuse My me. kid could be 10 centimeters tall than me, Excuse reasonably, me. right? No, no, listen. Your children yeah. will have the genes from you and your partner. Yeah, and, and also yeah. randomization and mutation. The genes, the genes yeah. control yeah. proteins, yeah. right? The gene controls... Yeah. They control the makeup of, of your body. Good. The gene controls your height. Many genes control your height, not one. Good. So the genes are the ones responsible for your height determination. Yes. Good. So if they're already programmed to make you at a particular height, yeah. Yeah. what would make it yeah. to become 18 foot tall? Different. Good question, mm -hmm. right? Have you heard of hypersomatic mutation or crossing over? Do, do you know like um, how diversity occurs? Yes. Yeah. So, no, so, so I, I, I have can I answer your question? Because you just of... spent a while so, asking me a so question. So now, now, if you mate with right, anyone in the world, right? Yeah. 
Are you saying that they can be 18 foot tall? No, can... never said it. Why not? I'm saying they Why could... not? Because not enough time has passed for such incremental changes to your genetics to make that difference. Mutation. Look, mutation. I didn't is... say mutation. I said changes. Okay. Look, if my kid is what? 10 centimeters taller what? than me, what's the term? Can, my, that kid, you can my kid be 10 centimeters taller than me? Can he, could my child be 10 Excuse centimeters me. taller than me? What is it? Yes, term? right. Yes. So what if my kid term? can be 10 centimeters taller than me, then couldn't his kid be 10 Wait. centimeters taller than him? What is it? Or one centimeter. What is the term that you asked me? Have I heard before? Yes, and it could be shorter. Well. Excuse me. Right, but if the environment benefited okay, a taller brother, guy, if, a benefit, if the environment benefited a taller person, then maybe his kid who was shorter wouldn't be as successful, and only the taller people would keep going. We don't live in a world where height um, values our ability to have kids, which is why we're not all really tall. But giraffes do. What is the term you asked me to consider, have I heard? I didn't ask you to consider it. Oh, a Vegas now. No, a bit after that. What? I don't know. I've, I've got no, no idea. Anyone, anyone remember? No, dude, because... What is the concept you said? Well, because variation. I... Mm -hmm. Was it variation? Super what? Oh, um, a somatic hypermutation. What's the uh, last word? Hypermutation. What's the last word? Hypermutation. Mutation. Yeah. So, mutation. It's not to do with um, rays or anything like mutation. that. Mutation. Yeah, yeah. It just. What is a mutation? Yeah, it, what, what it means is that. Okay, so you know how we all have like different blood types? And you know how, like, amongst children and their parents, there can be different blood types? Is this how you describe mutation? No, no, no. What I'm talking about is how. Describe these... what is a mutation? Okay, so these things become randomized. It's not, what because... is a mutation? But these things become randomized because somatic hypermutation is a process by which, when a sperm and an egg create, the genetic material is randomized to create natural diversity, which is why your kid doesn't look exactly like you. That's what why is their a kids mutation? Are, a mutation is when something is different. It's when something changes. And what I'm describing is a change that happens Shut when up. an egg and a sperm connect. Shut they up. have diversity. The kids when not you exactly have, like you for that reason. When you have chromosomes, yeah. 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 Before it's over, mm. they exchange genetic material. Yes. They follow a particular program, which is already there within the genes. How should DNA replicate? How should DNA unwin? Yeah. And you will have the RNA, you have, yeah, you have the, the DNA and helicase and all the bits. Good. Yeah. So it's following the particular yes. program. Yes. It's all programmed there. Yes, it's all programmed. And mutation is the what? The mutation is programmed in it. There is mutation specifically programmed in it. Mutation is yes, programmed it's in it. programmed specifically into our DNA. That's how you get things like genetic diseases. <laughs> That's how you get things where the, the genetic... Mutation yeah, is programmed it is, in it. It's exactly programmed into it. Randomization of our genes is called wait, wait, diversity. Wait, wait, it's wait, part wait, of us. Wait, wait, wait. So mutation is programmed in our genes. Yes. So mutation is not just something going wrong. No, through it's not. Accident. It's absolutely so not. So it's a program itself. Yes. Something it's that I learned today. Use. You know what? Yeah. Something. Uh, oh, that's fine. No, no, no. Something I learned. So right. I should be able to check that in any Please. textbook, look, right? Look, I'll look up on my phone right now. Right. Yeah, right. Absolutely. I'm, mutation I'm, is programmed in our genes. Yeah. I'm going to look up for you somatic hypermutation. No, no. Look up mutation. I'm interested in mutation. <laughs> okay, too. Whatever you say. Yeah. Look, so, somatic hypermutation no, no. is a cellular mechanism by which the immune system adapts to new foreign no. elements that confront the mutation. What I was telling you about Look blood. up mutation. He's and see, about that. Dude. I was hung to I did you know. Dude, please, please. Stop trying, to, re mutation stop trying to redefine my point. I never said mutation. I said. So what this brother said. No, excuse me, my brother. I, I don't know the full thing, but what he said is a fact. No, brother, you didn't hear Excuse that. me. No, 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 it's a somatic hypermutation. Yes, I'm a scientist. It's a real scientific um, thing. So am I. Okay, but I actually practice science. I did genetics degree. Good, good. He's right. Good. Yeah, I just want to say what that. What is a mutation? Right. What is a mutation? Oh my god, dude. Now, can you stop He's got a genetics degree. Why can't. Excuse me, what is a mutation? I'm not gonna define something. You said you're a scientist. You know what to do. No, 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 no. no. Please, can I ask you a question? Can you answer the question? Excuse me. But I want to ask him a question. He, he's he's always asking me questions. I should be able to ask him a question. I would simply. I'm simply. Let me ask you one question and then I'll. I I I did not. I did not say yes, no, anything or question about. Obviously, you didn't. What a question. I'm simply questioning the very basis of genetic. Variability Can I variation. let this slide and ask a new question? Before uh, you fine. do that, it's a complex mutation issue. is it programmed in our genes? There are, as he said, there is mechanisms where it can be, yes. Yes. So, in our genes, it's all programmed to have mutations. Yes. Don't worry, move beyond this point. Can, can I ask? No, 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 it is. As it a is. geneticist but, but, yes. yourself, our genes, there's a program to have mutations. You're oversimplifying massively, yes. but it's, yeah. Yes. Can, can I ask you a question? Um, I really, really want to ask a question, yeah, please, right. and I'll let it go. I know I I've been frustrating. With you, no, no, I, 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 yeah, exactly. I, I know I've been a bit no, difficult and a bit passionate I know about from this. From a geneticist, yeah. programs, but let me, let me just, let me just, let me just ask this one question, okay? Look, it is a big deal. Look, I have conversations deal. like this about um, 
big questions all the time, okay? Everyone likes to talk about this stuff. Ideas are beautiful to focus on, much better than people, right? So sometimes what happens is we go down this chain of like, people ask, oh, what happens before evolution? And what happens before that? And what happens before that? And ultimately, you're gonna get to a question I can't answer, right? Like, where did the universe come from? Because I can't, I'm not gonna tell you some, uh, there's no answer to that question, okay? I don't know, Can right? evolution answer that question? Uh, no, evolution is, is a part that comes later, but I don't know where the that's universe why, came from. That's why, that's why evolution I ask is you a red herring. I wanna ask you exactly. something. If, if I don't know where the universe came from, and I'm willing to accept that I don't know, and scary as it might be, say, I've got no idea. Like, maybe we'll find out, okay? Maybe we'll be able to answer that question when we have more, you know, ways to see. But right now, I don't know. So why are you so determined to say that you do know? Why can't we just not know? Why can't we just look around and stuff that seems practical, accept if, it, and, if, and stuff that other people are just telling us and can't prove, listen, listen, we listen, say probably not. Listen, if God tells us something about yeah. reality, yeah. Are you still going to question it? Oh, I don't want to know. I don't know. No one knows. God doesn't know either. Is that what you're going to say? Yeah. No, I really have to go, actually. If, I appreciate do, do, it. I just want to do, ask do, that do question. Follow, do you follow this? If God tells us about the reality, we yeah. accept it. No, I don't follow it. Yeah, so I don't, you, I don't God follow, doesn't know. No, no, I don't follow it because I've never had a message from God. I've, no one's ever spoken to me. So um, I might lack the tools to see wait, it. Wait, wait. You might see something so, I don't. So, but I'll be honest with you, so, this is all I can see. Um, look, and I'm happy with it. It's good enough for me. So you're basically saying God has to speak to you to believe in him, right? No. No, I'm saying that anything wants to believe be believed it should prove itself in some way but look i really do have to go man i appreciate it i know you have to take go. care Good